Hi friends, how are you? By blessings to the God, you are doing well. So this is Dr. Artham Jainal, faculty member, PG Department of Business Management, Fakirmon University, Vyasa Bihar, Balasur, Odisha. Once again, I am welcoming to all of you to Dr. A.B. Jainal classes. So friends, I have prepared uh, this video lecture, I mean the 30 multiple choice question from the auditing uh, subject as per the choice based credit system, uh, credit system syllabus of Odisha University. So this uh, 30 uh, multiple choice questions uh, have already been covered as per your syllabus. And so auditing, uh, corporate governance and auditing is uh, right now in the sixth semester. Uh, the students, those uh, who are going to appear the sixth semester, uh, the UG, I mean the become students. And uh, also this uh, vital MCQ which will be very, very useful and fruitful those who are preparing for their uh, I mean the PG entrance exemption as well as those who are preparing for the UGC NET JRF exemption as well as so this discussion will be very very useful those who are preparing for the lectures I mean the SSP and Odisha Public Service Commission so friends without delay we will start our discussion again I will have the request to all of you from beginning to till end kindly watch the full uh, video and during the discussion if any mismatch or gap you will find kindly you give your available comment and a suggestion in the comment section so friends without delay we will start our uh, academic journey first one mcq in which year the audit of company accounts was made mandatory in india option a 1956 b 1999 c it's 1914 d it's uh, 13 friends so c is the right option for this mcq so that is in the year 1948 the audit of company accounts was made mandatory in india so c is the right option for this mcq so next one mcq uh, uh, who is regarded as or who is known as the father of a double entry bookkeeping a eugen pharma b it's a uh, luca pasioli C is F M F W sorry F W Taylor D is Henry Fayol friends so B is the right option for this M C Q so uh, Luca Pacioli Luca Pacioli is regarded as the father of a double entry bookkeeping so Eugene Fama who is the father of financial management F W Taylor who is the father of the scientific management and the Henry Fayol is treated as the father of the administrative theory of uh, management friends so i will have the request to all of you the fathers of a different subject i mean the marketing management financial management insurance uh, csr corporate social responsibility insurance so i have already posted one video kindly go through the posted video and you will know more and uh, more so next one mcq the chartered accountant act is which year a it's 1938 b it's 1956 c it's 1949 d it's 1964 friends so c is the right option for this mcq c so the Chartered Accountant Act in India is that is 1949. 1938 it's the Insurance Act, 1956 it's the Old Companies Act and 1964 in this year IDBI was established. So again I will have the request to all of you, I have already posted one, the Indian uh, the acts so far as the commerce management and payment and other related subjects so kindly go through the posted video definitely your general knowledge will be um, more and more so uh, you watch the posted video so indian acts and the year of acts so far as the commerce management and other related subjects so next one mcq an audit usually conducted on a it's monthly basis, B it's a quarterly basis, C it's a half yearly basis, D it's a yearly basis. Friends, so D is the right option for this MCQ. D. An audit is usually conducted or generally conducted on a yearly basis. So D is the right option for this MCQ. So next one MCQ. Uh, dash is your which is an inspection and in-depth exemptions of a final account. A it's auditing. B is internal checking, C is investigation, D is vouching. Friends, so C is the right option 
for this MCQ. I mean, investigation is an inspection and in-depth examination of the final account of the business organization. So C is the right option for this MCQ. So next one MCQ, audit of a bank is the example of a, or which types of audit A it's a concurrent audit, B it's a balance sheet audit, C it's a statutory audit, D it's a all of these all. So friends, so D is the right option for this MCQ. Audit of banks is a, it's the example of a concurrent audit as well as balance sheet audit as well as a statutory audit. So D is the right option for this MCQ. So next one MCQ. When a transaction is fully or partially recorded wrongly in the books of accounts, it is known as or it is treated as or called as what? A. It's error of a commission. B. It's error of omission. C. It's error of principal. D. It's compensatory error. Friends, so A is the right option for this MCQ. So when a transaction is fully or partially recorded wrongly in the books of accounts, it is known as what is this? the error of a commission. So A is the right option for this MCQ. So next one MCQ, when a transaction is completely omitted from the recording in the books of accounts, it is known as or called as what? A is error of a commission, B is error of a omission, C is error of principal, D is compensatory error. Friends, so B is the right option for this MCQ. When a transaction is completely omitted from recording in the books of accounts, it is a called what types of error? It's the error of a omission. So B is the right option for this MCQ. So next one MCQ, which kind of a audit is conducted usually between two annual audits? A is internal audit, B is final audit, C is interim audit, D is continuous audit. Friends, so C is the right option for this MCQ. I mean the interim audit is conducted usually between two annual audits. So C is the right option for this MCQ. So next one MCQ. Final audit means to what? A or auditing of uh, final reports. B is checking the books of accounts to know the frauds. C is audit of a balance sheet at the end of the financial year. D is none of these friends. So C is the right option for this MCQ. Final audit means to audit of a balance sheet at the end of the financial year. Friends, so C is the right option for this MCQ. So next one MCQ, an audit which is compulsory by law is known as a what? A is interim audit, B is final audit, C is statutory audit, D is continuous audit. Friends, so C is the right option for this on MCQ. An audit which is compulsory by the law is known as what is this? The statutory audit. So C is the right option for this MCQ. So next one MCQ. The periodical exemptions of accounts of a business firm by its employees appointed in the capacity of auditor is known as or called as what? A is internal audit, B is final audit, C is partial audit, D is continuous audit. Friends, so A is the right option for this MCQ. The periodical exemptions of uh, accounts of uh, a business firm by its employees appointed in the capacity of uh, auditors is known as a or called as an internal audit. So A is the right option for this MCQ. So next one MCQ, the audit of accounts of a government departments and institution is known as a what? Or is called as a what? A statutory audit, statutory audit, sorry spelling um, error is there. Statutory audit, B is a final audit, C is a government audit, D is a management audit. Friends, so C is the right option for this MCQ. The audit of accounts of a government departments and institutions is known as what? The government audit. The government is doing such types of audit in the government departments and the government institutions. So C is the right option for this MCQ. So next one MCQ, audit notebook is very very vital to auditor. 
audit notebook is usually considered as the property of a whom a owner b auditor c its board of directors d its none of these friends so b is the right option for this mcq audit notebook is usually considered as the property of a iska auditor so next to an mcq an arrangement in which work of one employee is checked so the spelling mistake is there checked by another employee is known as or called as a what or which types of audit a is internal audit b is interim audit c is internal check d is all the above friends so c is the right option for this mcq c an arrangement in which work of one employee is checked by other employee is known as a internal check or internal checking so next one mcq vouchers are related to what a is cash payments b is credit transaction c is cash receipts d is all the above friends so d is the right option for this mcq d so vouchers are related to cash payments as well as credit transactions as well as cash receipts so the vouchers are the basic uh, the foundations or or main elements um, or ingredients to the auditor to check the books of accounts or to audit the other the financial transactions of the business so next one mcq an auditor should compare the purchase return book with the what sent by suppliers a it's a credit notes b it's a debit notes c it's a audit notes d it's a none of these so friends so a is the right option for this mcq an auditor should compare the purchase return book with the credit notes sent by the suppliers so a is the right option for this mcq so next one mcq verification is the what sorry verification is the what a examination of books of accounts b art of recording the transaction c it's a art of establishing the accuracy of entries in the books of accounts d it's a no no for this friends so c is the right option for this mcq the verification is the act of establishing the accuracy of entries in the books of accounts so c is the right option for this mcq so next one mcq the verification of the um, value of assets liabilities balance of balances of reserves surplus provisions profit and loss status of a, a business firm is known as what or called as what a is final audit b is balance sheet audit c is concurrent audit d is internal audit friends b is the right option for this mcq b the verification of the value of assets liabilities balance of reserves surplus provisions and profit and loss status of business is known as or called as what it is the balance sheet audit so b is the right option for this mcq so next one mcq uh it's the statement an auditor is a watchdog and not a bloodhound so such statement was made in the case of a which industries a it's a reliance industry limited b it's indian oil corporation c it's infosys limited d it's a kingston cotton mills company friends so d is the right option for this mcq so an auditor is a watchdog not a bloodhound so such statement was made in the case of a kingston company mills sorry kingston cotton mills company limited so next one mcq destruction of a bills and vouchers destruction of a bills and vouchers is a what or which types of liability a it's that is the financial liability b it's the criminal liability c it's the criminal offense d it's all the above friends so b is the right option for this mcq so b so destruction of bills and vouchers is a 
what that is the criminal liability b is the right option for this mcq so next one mcq the audit which refers to the evaluation the performance of company against the plant objectives and goals in the area of social responsibility is called as or known as which types of audit a it's a financial audit b it's a cost audit c it's a, that is the management audit d it's a, that is the social audit so friends so here d is the right option for this mcq the audit which refers to the evaluation the performance of companies against the planned objectives and goals in the area of social responsibility is known as what is this social audit so d is the right option for this mcq so next one uh, mcq a cost auditor or cost auditor submits the report to whom a it's a central government b it's a company law board c it's a board of directors d it's a that is none of the above friends so c is the right option for this mcq a cost auditor submits the report to reports to the that is the b o d s board of director so c is the right option for this mcq so next one mcq management audit or what is the uh, features of management audit a it's a compulsory b it's a voluntary c it's a statutory d it's a none of the above friends so b is the right option for this mcq b so management audit is a voluntary it's a that is the optional it's not the mandatory or compulsory so b is the right option for this mcq so next one on mcq which audit or which types of audit is special designed to check and evaluate the effectiveness of environmental management system a it's a social audit b it's a waste audit c it's a, that is the environmental audit d it's a, all the above friends so c is the right option for this mcq i mean the environmental audit is special designed to check and evaluate the effectiveness of environmental management system so c is the right option for this mcq so next one mcq what is the full form of a gas i mean the g a a s is a part or the g a gas or g a a s g a a s stands for what a it is generally accepted accepted in accounting standards b it is gen generally accepted auditor standards c it is generally accept, accepted accounting standards c d it is generally accepted accountant standards friends so a is the right option for this mcq the full form of a g a a s e g generally g stands for generally a stands for accepted a stands for again auditing a standard a stands for standard so a is the right option for this mcq the full form of g a a s e g generally accepted auditing standards so next one mcq or dash audit or which types of audit which is normally presumed to be a non routine investigation into a performance of a manager or a group of managers a it's a, that is the social audit b it's a management audit c it's a financial audit d it's a non financial audit friends so b is the right option for this mcq okay or management audit management audit which is a, normally presumed to be a non routine investigation into a performance of a manager or a group of, of of managers so b is the right option for this mcq so next one mcq which uh, type of audit has the wider scope a or dash audit has the wider scope a it's a, that is the cost audit b it's a management audit c it's a social audit d it's a financial audit friends so d is the right option for this mcq i mean the financial audit has the wider scope as compared to the cost audit management audit as well as the social audit so next one mcq first auditor 
or first auditor is appointed by whom or the first auditors are appointed by whom a its shareholder b its company law board c its board of uh, directors d its central government so friends so c is the right option for this mcq so c the first auditor is appointed by board of directors or the first auditors are being appointed by the board of directors so c is the right option for this mcq last but not the least is the vital mcq audit begins where which one ends a it's vouching b it's accounting c it's internal check d it's none of the above friends so b is the right option for this mcq audit begins when or where accounting ends friends so these are all about the third that 30 vital mcqs and uh, during the discussion if any mismatch or gap you will find kindly give your valuable suggestion and comments to the comment section so uh, once again i am requesting to all of you if you like this uh, uh, video lecture kindly you subscribe it kindly you share it kindly you forward it so thanks a lot to all of you